All right, guys. I'm so excited. Rob, owner of Edgewater Sports Park. Dude, this place is so nice. Thank you. We appreciate that. We uh, put a lot of love on our pride in this place. Today. Yeah. And, and we can tell, like, the I said it the other day, but the, the trees here, the concession stand is great. You guys have a ton of room for people to get under some rain if we have it, which hopefully we're we're going to not say that word anymore. I didn't mean to say it that time. Yeah. Our word. We're going to say it. Yeah, yeah. You can't, especially racing. Yeah, this brings me a little rough. Yeah, yeah. The uh, drag and drive life is a little bit of that, though. You got to have a car that can drive in that yeah, stuff, right? True. Yep. Just so, not when it's here racing. <laughs> that's exactly when right. On their way hey, to the next track. Do it at night. Rain all afternoon. We don't care. Just not in the morning. Not when we're racing here. That's right. So we moved it up because of the threat of that later to the morning. We're here on the summit stage. I figured I'll bring you guys the trophies. Rob was walking by. I had to grab him. Let me get you in the shot there. I had to grab him. Dude. The track front today is insane. It's, it's on point. Uh, Ricky always has things good. We struggled Tuesday because we had an inch of rain overnight. That water gets up underneath the rubber, and there's just yep. no way to get a good track. Yeah, it was crazy. Today, that's Worked not, out well. we not the problem at all. We scraped all the way through the 330 last night, and glue and rubber and SLR and gold <laughs> dust. And it's, a, it's a good one. That's awesome. We certainly appreciate it. I know the racers appreciate it. My shoes don't appreciate it. I'm sticking to the stage Yeah, right be here. careful. You'll let something out of them. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, uh, listen, I want to show the guys the trophies. I want to say thank you for yeah, letting us well be done. here. Um, I, I know I've never been here. I know there's a ton of racers that have never been here, but I know a lot of people that are coming back to Edgewater Sports Park. Yeah, we, hey, we'd love to hear that. Yeah. You know? That's yeah, why we're here. Yeah, right. And, guys, listen, camp, be here, stay overnight. This place is great, man. The bathrooms, the facilities, everything is really cool. Yep. So, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Right. Appreciate it. Come on out and see us, everybody. <laughs> yep. Thank you. All right, guys, listen. This stuff is wild. Wait till you see these trophies here. Let me get the camera spun around so you guys can see it here. Stay with me. Luckily, we got a little bit of a quiet spot for a minute. I'm getting it changed. Hang on. There we go. Mr. Chris Baker, Mr. C10 Nationals right there, wheeling up. Guys, look at this. Huge, huge banner on the box truck. <laughs> look, look, what, do you, what do you see right there? Huh? What do you see right there? That's right. That's right. Guys, I don't know if you saw it earlier. We interviewed Alex Taylor. She's excited for Rocky Mountain. We are doing that. She's doing that next in the 55. She's doing a power tour next week in the Bad Marrow. But guys, look at these trophies. We're letting the racers race as long as they can. Fred Ashmore, I see you, buddy. What's up? 815, how you doing, dude? All right, guys, look at these trophies. Look, look at all these trophies, all the way through third place in classes. Man, they're awesome. They're a nice, heavy trophy. That's why we've got to go ahead and stand them up, get out here. You can see the, the covers. This stage is owned by Midwest Drags. It is it is a great setup. It'll be really fun tonight. I'll actually be on the live stream. we got Nate, my camera guy. He's been running around with me all week. I mean... How many miles do you think we walked, Nate? 30, 40 miles, something like that, probably. It's at least six or eight a day. Look at these trophies, guys. These are what the racers are racing for right here. You know how you get a, a champion trophy, right? You turn it up all week long. These are trophies you'll want to own. These are trophies you want to win, you want to earn. Uh, if you haven't seen the live stream over on Summit Racing House of Hustle, we've had a dedicated Cletus cam coming a couple times a day when him and Kevin are, are working on stuff. Y'all, yesterday we were at Profiler Cylinder Heads, and Jesse from 3G Video asked if we could do some rollers for them. Got some amazing shots on the highway. Benny the Volvo's been awesome this week. Just a little oily. That's why it sounds like I've smoked a whole bunch of cigarettes for a long time because I've uh, breathed about a quart and a half of oil, I think, over the last few days. But I'm very appreciative of Jesse letting me ride with him. He let me drive a little bit yesterday. And then if you guys didn't see the live stream, you missed it. There's a Cleeter McSkeeter ran a 699 at 208. First time in the sixes with mullet. So that's exciting. 
got all these racers over here. Calvin Nelson, Niv Like 57 on YouTube. Do you need me? Okay. Uh, let me let me go another few minutes here, and then we'll we'll jump on. One thing that's great about Midwest Drags is they have a dedicated 750 lane. You go right to the front of the line. Mr. Ryan Hargett bringing up the car here. Tammy getting some tire pressure set. Guys, he's been 751. Yeah. Hey, somebody said shout out to Nate. Ryan Hargett, 751. I don't know if he's went any faster today with the prep. We'll see. Let's see if we can get Tammy to, to give us an update. What are you working on there? You don't give any secret sauce on uh, tire pressure for this thing? No secret sauce. <laughs> Just doing what we normally do. That's right. Hey, how fast is it? What's the fastest he's been this week? Oh, gosh. Well. I know there's a 751 yesterday. I think that's probably it. Nice. Now you're quizzing me. We uh, made a lot of passes. So yes. Hard to keep track of a them. lot. <laughs> I think you guys have probably made four or five passes at each track, right? At least three. I mean, that tells you the, the kind of consistency you can get by, uh, you know, working with Hargett Automotive and Performance. Evansville, Indiana, guys, these folks get down 2,000 horsepower, twin turbo coyote set up. This car is bad, bad, bad. Pulls a trailer, no yard sales here. They don't have the room for it, they said. Let's jump over, we'll talk to, we'll talk to the Nelsons real quick. See what Andrew's got going on. There's a Grabiac bunch. There's our buddy John from yesterday, put his video out. <laughs> hey, hey, we're live. We are live. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, what we got going on? What's up with the car? Give us an update. Well, he uh, got a two 960s, 140. Um, he's starting to uh, turn it up now. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more boost, a little bit more VVT, hoping to pick it up. And uh, um, it, yes. it, it should pick up on this run. Yes. Uh, I don't know if we got the 8 tune in it yet, but we're trying to creep up on it. It's very easy to uh, <laughs> throw the kitchen sink at something, and, and we're pretty conservative in that yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. We'd rather sneak up on it, check out the data, and... Uh, uh, but we're having a great time. Oh, my gosh. It's been so much fun. <laughs> it has fun. been so much fun. I wish I could have got some time in the seat, but we see that uh, Calvin riding in the passenger seat there. Yeah, Hobbs. That's right. Out. Yeah, Hobbs. Sorry. <laughs> that is Hobbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to jump live on the Summit Racing House of Hustle right now, so it's a good thing that I walked up here. We're going to jump on. We'll talk to Andrew, Nelson, and Calvin on there right now while they're uh, scraping the track. So, bye here. Go over to the Summit Racing House of Hustle right now.